What's up, everybody? This is Jay again. I hope everybody is having an amazing morning. Today, we're going to talk a little about a little bit about religion, my thoughts on it, and why I chose the path that I chose. Remember, if you're watching this on a reel or something, uh, one of the shorts, you got to go to YouTube to see the whole video. That's where I download all my serious talks and all my reviews. So, Sam vs. Hurt Me Nots on YouTube is where you will find the full video. So, let me give you a little bit of background. I was born into a Catholic family. I uh, went through my catechism classes. I went through, uh, used to go to church every Sunday. And then, of course, on the holidays, everything was made a big deal about it. But I had to go through my catechism classes. I had to grow and learn all these different things throughout the church. Um, follow all the rules that they've got going on. I went to a Catholic school in first grade. It did not last long. Hi, Luna. It did not last long. Hey, get down. No. Uh, before I was put back into public school, my behavior was not well enough. Hey, get down. Now. Get down. Thank you. Uh, I ended up going to jail at a really young age. Nine, nine years old, I was in juvenile hall. Uh, doing a 10-month stint. And from there, I just kind of stayed in. I'd be out for a couple of months. I'd go back in. I'd get out for a couple of months. I'd go back in, you know. And I went through the... Um, I went through the stages. Oh, thank you, Elhorn, for my awesome coffee mug, by the way. Um, I went through the stages. You know, you go to jail, you get in, and you cry to God, and you hope that he's going to help you either get out or get better so you can stay out and stop going through this heartbreak that we go through every time we get locked up. Um, and, it, you know, I go in and I I do the Christian thing where I'm praising Jesus and I'm trying in my mind I'm going to do better and everything else. And then I get out and go back to my old ways. It just didn't matter. Uh, get back in trouble, start getting high again. Well, I didn't start getting high until I was older. Um, as a kid, I just got in trouble for whatever reasons. I was just a bad kid. Um, it didn't It didn't ring with me. It was too easy for me as a Christian. And this is why I am not, why I chose, this is why I chose to move away from Christianity. The main thing that they have that I couldn't deal with is that I could basically do whatever I wanted outside of suicide. And then I could ask for God for forgiveness. Hey, stop whining. Come here, stop whining. Come here. Come on. And then I could ask for forgiveness and everything was all better again, okay? Well, that didn't work for me. It was too easy for me to just get out, get in trouble, do what I wanted. Um, and then I'm asking for forgiveness and so I could still go to heaven, right? Well, it was just... Just didn't work. Hey, enough. That just didn't work for me. So, knowing, knowing that I was looking for something different, um, I began to study different religions. I was introduced to different religions in the prison system because there's so many um, different peoples in there, okay? Now, they only offer, um, well, for years, they only offered Christian services. Uh, depending on where you're at, you have your Mormon services. Um, the blacks had, um, I forget exactly what it's called, but they're where they celebrate Ramadan and whatnot, and they had their, their own different thing. Later on um, in the prison system, uh, the white boys had heathen and also true and whatnot that we were introduced to. Um, hang on a second, let me fix my dogs. And so I was exposed to different, different religions that I could learn about. I, uh, read the Book of Mormon, stop. I read the Book of Mormon, um, I got into Jehovah's Witnesses for a little while, trying all these different things, and... None of them worked. They were all, no matter the differences in them, they were all Jesus Christ based, Christian based, okay? The belief in Christ. And that's what wasn't working for me. <clears throat> it was just, there was too much that was unexplainable. The where did God come from? There's 
nothing. Uh, the answer was always, he always was, always will be, always has been. Uh, well, why does he let little babies die? Well, there's no answer for that. That's Nobody knows God's reasonings and this and that, right? Um, it's really, it was really rough, really hard for me to accept. And then to accept the fact that I could just ask for forgiveness and no matter what I did, everything was better. It just didn't work well for me. Um, then... I was given a book of runes, Old Norse runes. Hey, you stay here. Old Norse runes. I read through the book not knowing anything else about about also true or the faith or anything like that. I just read about the runes and it just stuck to me. And so I got more books on runes. And I kept reading and the magic of the runes themselves um, captured my attention captured everything about me I, I just loved it and so I continued studying on it and studying on it now throughout uh, throughout my search we'll call it um, I kind of dibbled and dabbled in a whole bunch of different things Christian and non-Christian and finally I came across a book of Old Norse mythology and the gods and goddesses and whatnot. Now, to me, um, the fact that they believed in goddesses, not just a single god, as well as their gods, um, really talked to me also. Um, I was brought up, my mom brought me up to respect women and to love women and to understand how important women are uh, within our society, within the world, completely, with for life, you know. Um, I remember when I was maybe six or seven, and there was a little girl that lived in the apartment next to us. Um, don't remember what happened, but she hit me, and I smacked her back. And she went and told my mom, and boy, let me tell you, I never touched another woman like that again. Uh, she she whooped me, and, and her words just let me know exactly how wrong it was for a man or a boy at the time, but for a, a guy at all to beat on a woman, to hit a woman at all. And so that was, I was raised that way. Um, and then that was something that was instilled in me no matter what else, no matter how bad I was at other things, how wrong I was with my life in general at that time and for years to come, um, the respect for women stuck with me, okay? And so when I heard about the goddesses and started reading about the goddesses, that really enthralled me. I was like, man, this is really cool. And so I studied more and I studied more. Um, and now let's be real. Did I believe in Odin and Thor and Freya and Hela any more than I believed in Jesus Christ? No. Um, to me, they were all just... Uh, Characters and stories, even Jesus, even God, all of them are just characters and stories. The Bible is just a whole bunch of stories put together. Um, and none of us today can say for sure one way or another, you know. Well, so I studied Asatru, got into it a lot more, okay. And decided that I like, I liked the way that Asatru demanded that I live my life with honor every day. There's no asking for forgiveness because I did something wrong and having it all be done. It was more of a, if I screw up, if I fuck up and do something that is that is dishonorable, we'll say, then that was my, my job to fix that and turn that around, okay? Not just say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. No, I actually had to go out and do some work to fix some things in order for the gods and goddesses that I that I was claiming to, that I was, oh, I don't know if, if you would say believe in, but I would say following their ways, um, in order for them to look favorably upon me, I actually had to go out and fix my bad, to fix my mistakes and whatnot. Um, it was, uh, it worked a lot better for me. Hey, no, you stay up here. You want to come up here? Go ahead. It worked a lot better for me. Oh, we'll get up there then. Because I was not, like I said, it wasn't just as easy as saying, oh, please forgive me, I'm sorry. Okay? Um, 
within the faith, within our true religion itself, there's more explanations for me um, than there was with Christianity. For instance, we have, and I noticed that all the old religions have a story of how the world came about, where the gods came from, what created the gods and goddesses, and, and how they were. Whereas Christianity, yeah, we have the story of how the world came about, but there's no explanation for God himself. Um, for instance, we have another thing that, that stuck with me big is, is when I asked about when bad things happen and I try to figure out why God allows saved babies to die, and the answer from, no matter who you're talking about, the answer was always... Um, we don't know God's will. God, you know, God has a reason and we don't know his reasoning. And I understand that, but it's not, it's not an easy thing, you know. Um, you can't just, it, it wasn't acceptable for me. Whereas within my, my faith, within also true, it's all about ancestral karma. And what our ancestors did wrong and did that were the things that they did that they didn't, counteract themselves that they did not fix themselves being passed down the bloodlines um and this is why certain people with certain family members may get cancer and um why i went, ended up in jail at nine years old with having no idea things like that ancestral karma and so i've spent my life now since i well we'll say the last 25 years or so since i discovered this um, and actually I did not learn, hey, get your nose out of my trash now, get over here and lay down. I did not, um, I did not discover ancestral karma until about 15 years ago, we'll say. Um, and I did not exact dates, you know, these are just, uh, these are just about because I never kept a log of it. But since I did, I've spent these years, uh, correcting, doing so much good in life for people, for everything that I could, um, not just my family, but my family included, so that the ancestral karma that I've, that I've got built up within my family, within my bloodline, is counteracted and fixed, so that as much as I can, my children won't have to deal, and their children won't have to deal with things that I've done wrong, and things that my ancestors have done wrong. Maybe this ain't right, maybe this is just a, a, Great idea, um, hopeful thinking, wishful thinking, whatever, you know. That's always possible, and I understand that. But let's be real. If if it is a real thing, then all the good that I'm doing is counteracting any bad that may have happened in my family. And I don't know my ancestry very well. Um, I know up to my grandparents, and beyond that, I can't find anything anywhere. And my parents and my grandparents, well, my grandparents are dead. My parents don't really know about it. And so there's, it's not like there is a, um, yeah, I don't know what we may or may not have done wrong, but I know there's a lot of unexplained things from my bloodline and my life that just don't make sense. And so I make sense of them by doing as good as I can and counteracting everything um, that may have been done in the past, okay? It's just so that my bloodline from here on out is, um, will not have any negative negativity to start out their lives. And let me tell you, I'm not rich. Uh, I'm actually pretty broke all the time. However, I am, uh, uh, happy, man. We've got a great life. I've been married for like over 20 years now. Um, I think I'm working on 23, maybe, that we've been married. We got married in 99. Um, I've got two beautiful daughters that are both grown and doing well. I've got all these dogs that, uh, <laughs> you know, if you watch my videos, you know I love my dogs, uh, even if they are a handful. Um, and I'm living a great life now. It doesn't take a lot of money to do that. But I think it's because of what I believe now and the way that I believe it. And so as I got into Ostru, um and heathenry, I got it. And I don't know if heathenry is a word, but that's what I call it because it makes because it works for me. Uh, I um, I got into meditations. I began to um, journey into other other realms, I believe, and I've seen some things that, or been shown some things within these, within these journeys, and my mind journeys, that are just, 
awesome, for lack of a better word. Too big for me to even really, really describe, right? Uh, one of the things that that came to me within my within my meditations is this. All religions, whether it be Christianity, whether it be Asatru, whether it be anything, it doesn't matter. All religions were are man made. Okay? All of our gods were given to us by a man. And I understand that you guys that are Christians believe in the Bible and believe that it's the words of God through man and, and that's fine. I'm not disputing anything like that. What I am saying is that somewhere down the line it was a man who put the idea of your God, my gods and goddesses, everything into our minds and let it grow from there. For whatever their reasons were, maybe to give the people hope way back in the days, maybe to give them purpose later on, who knows what it is, okay? And I'm not here to bash on anybody's religion. Nobody at all, because that's not what I do. I'm just here to tell you why I chose what I chose. Um, and being the case, being that it is all man-made somewhere down the line, says what? It says that any of them could be right. Um, and all of them could be wrong. Okay? Maybe there's nothing after we die. I don't believe there's nothing. I believe um, that there is an energy force that we are... Um, drawn back to and spit back out into another life, okay? But that's a whole nother, whole nother episode for me to explain that part of my belief. This, though, I just see all this, this division between us, right? And I think that if you're going to choose a religion, you have to choose a religion that works for you. But you have to understand that just because you choose one doesn't mean that it is the correct one or the only one. I mean, let's be real. There's so many different religions from around the world, so many different faiths. And yeah, not all of them are still around. I know not a lot of people believe in the old gods and goddesses anymore. But it is, there's so many of them that you can't say that any one of us is wrong or any one of us is right. You just have to say that you choose this one for your reasons and not hate on anybody else for it. I know Christianity is really popular. I know from, uh, at least here in America, I know from our president on down, everybody's always claiming God this, Christ this, God this, Christ this. Well, that's fine. But kind of look at the people that are doing it. It doesn't, you know, I'm not really impressed with you're so believing in God and doing and, and living your life the way that you live. Okay? Now, that doesn't mean there's not exceptions. There's always exceptions. That doesn't mean that, um, for instance, if you claim that you believe in Austria, you follow Austria, most of the world automatically calls you a racist. Well, anybody who knows me knows I'm the furthest thing from a racist. And we'll actually have another video on that um, at some point also. Um, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, there's stereotypes for everything. And then you got the people who, I know some people, I got neighbors next door, matter of fact, that are really good friends of mine. They're Christian, pretty hardcore Christians, and they're just great people. They they don't care that I'm a different religion. They see how I live my life, and we became friends. And even though our belief system is different, there's a respect there for each other's belief system. Because like I said at the beginning, there's no need to hate on any other religion. That's where our mistake is, is that we feel like ours is our own and everybody must believe the same way we do. And if they don't, then they're wrong. There's some kind of devil. There's some kind of dishonorable person. There's some kind of something. And it's not like that. Not like that at all. You may not believe in magic, but that's fine. I believe in magic. I have reason to believe in magic. Um, I have reason to believe that Christ is real. I just don't believe that he is the only God or God. God, Like he's not the only one who has walked this earth who has had powers to, to heal people and to help people and do different things. He just happens to be the most popular for you know, the reasoning of his crucifixion and whatnot. Um, you may not believe in gods and goddesses. Okay, that's fine. 
you know, uh, I have reason to believe that not the, that the gods are not necessarily real as beings. Beings, they are real for what we make them. Okay, our belief in them is what makes them real. And if I can put, um, say, Odin would like me to live this way, and Thor would like me to live this way, and Freya and Hela would like me to live this way, if I go by the rules, or say the, they're not really rules for us, but if I go by the guidelines that the gods and goddesses set for me, then I am living the life that I that I need to live, that I want to live. And what comes after I die, it doesn't really matter. It's what I am doing now on this earth to continue not only my happiness and well-being and my family's happiness and well-being, but to contribute to the earth itself and the people who live on this earth. Well, if I can do that, then, man, I'm living the good life. I'm... Like I said, I couldn't imagine being happier than I am right now. And so, and if you can do that as a Christian, that's awesome. That's very awesome. Or any other religion that you may believe in, that's very awesome. It's just the hate, the you're not what I am, and so we can't get along and we have to argue over who's right thing, that doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, like I said, also true, being a heathen demands that I live my life every day with honor. And if I do something that goes against that honor, then I need to work to make up and fix what it is that I did. And now honor is a funny word, and we could say, well, what does honor mean to you? Well, that's where, that's where we come in as people. Uh, because what honor means to me may not be the same to you, but that doesn't matter. You have to live your life just like I live my life living to the standards that we feel is important. And also true, um, heathenry, heathenry is something that demands I live my life. It's something that gives me something to work up to because I like, I like the way that I feel when I follow my gods and goddesses. When the clock hits 11, 11, you know, or something like that, and everybody looks down and sees it, makes, looks up and makes a wish, I just thank my gods for my life. It's all I do is give a thanks to whatever the power is that is out there, I give thanks to it. Um, because living like I do, I'm living a great life, and I can't complain about it. I live up in the mountains, I've got my dogs, my families, and yeah, I live in, I think it's a 1983 or 1986 RV, um, but I love it. Would I like a newer RV? Ah, probably at some point. And when I get to the point in my life, my wife and I, where we can, we will. Um, I'll still always live in an RV, though, because I love, and that's probably another video, but I love the option to up and go whenever I want, wherever I want. I think that's just great. Um, and it's like camping for me. I love camping. Anyways, well, like I said, that's probably a whole nother video. If you guys are still watching this up to this point, thank you. Uh, give me your support. Like and subscribe and, and all that good stuff if you, if you like my content. I've got lots of reviews that I do and different talks like this. I just want to say, uh, before I close this out, remember that the hate, whether it's a racism type hate for or against it, it doesn't matter whether it's a right-wing, left-wing, you know, political hate, uh, whether it's a you're just different than me, whether it's a you're not the same sex or you're not the same sexual preference as me, it's got to stop in America. It's got to stop in the world. We've got to understand that our differences truly do make us stronger. Um, if we were all the same, we'd be a bunch of damn robots, and, you know, that just doesn't work. It, it, that's just horrible. Okay, so... It's good that we have differences, but we have to realize that I can I can draw strength from the different things that you offer me. And you can can draw strength from different things that I can offer you for everybody. For the whole damn world we can do this. And we've got to understand that. This is very oh very important because our world is kind of going to shit right now. You see 
all these negative things that the news portrays for us. They don't show very many positive things, which is bullshit. But once in a while, you get somebody saving a damn puppy or some kid doing something really cool, and they'll show that. But very seldom compared to all the negativity that we see. And when we see the negativity on the news and whatnot, it breeds more negativity and more negative feelings within us, okay? And that's what's got to stop. We've got to understand that... Love is the answer here. Truly is the answer here. And I'm not saying you have to love every neighbor. You don't have to like that. But I'm saying we have to spread the love, okay? We have to spread the positivity. We have to understand that these are really, really hard times. And it is our strength and our strength in our differences together that will get us through this. Ah, uh, YouTube's probably going to take about 18 hours to uh, upload this video for me now. So I'm going to cut this off now. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you like my content, like, subscribe. You can check me out on uh, Instagram, Sam Resert Me Nots. And then Sam Resert Me Nots on TikTok for shorter, other positive, um, good vibe, great feeling videos. Um, I love you guys all. And as always, stay safe. Stay sane. Stay happy. Stay healthy.